Things Unsettled Souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. This is Sam I meet again. She's doing political commentary for the Media Speaks. Uh, HDEF up there. I've been, uh, I have uh, more of the, oops, sorry, more of the editing software that I need to make the show look better on HDEF. And it has been. Thank you, Steve. But um, I'm not going to have time to. I'm going to be out of town, leaving getting away for the weekend, and I'm, I have to leave early, like, as soon as the show is done, and I've had no sleep. So, you're going to get the news in raw data form. You guys here on the uh, low def are enjoying the Hillary's Lies Matter um, lower third that I'm sporting today. And here's why. Uh, this is some Breitbart. Black activists condemn Obama's transgender shower room claim. In a nutshell, I agree with these black activists in every single way in this matter. I don't think there's a racist behind every door. I'm not one of those people. However, to say that somebody choosing to wear a dress is equal to whether or not you were born with a color of skin that you did not get to choose is absolutely outrageous. So I'm saying you should go out with bats and beat up gay people, right? No, that's not what I'm saying. If they're two women, you should watch them. I'm, if, oh, if you don't laugh, you'll cry, okay? Um, we've got overboard here. There has to be a fine line somewhere between making sure that we're not beating up or... Um, denying rights to homosexuals. But we also have to make sure that we're not forcing churches to do things that go against their doctrine. If the church doesn't want to do it, it shouldn't have to find another church. That goes for me too. I'm not Jehovah's Witness. Um, there's no way a Jehovah's Witness church would have married Chris Dahl and I, so I don't want to hear it. Um, there has to be a line where your sexual practice is not equal to somebody's skin tone. Okay, this, this is ridiculous. It's denying basic science here. A guy can go, as uh, Michael Savage says, and get his schmeckle cut off, and uh, he's not going to be a woman. He's going to be a mutilated man. Now, I'm pretty libertarian. If you want to go ahead and hack yourself up, that's fine. But don't expect everybody else to accept it. Because there's going to be a lot of people that don't. And it's like that with everything. You might as well just be gay. Because it's always going to be something that someone doesn't like you for. Someone doesn't like me because I have tattoos. Or I have long hair. Because I'm this, I'm that. Because uh, my other things you can't control. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm against illegal immigration, but I'm a fair person. My family has Mexican in them. Um, quite likely Mayan Indian. Not sure because of divorce, never spend enough money to look it up. Um, there are different cultures and different belief systems, and we all find some reason to deviate and come against each other for some reason. But this here, what these black activists are saying, they're right here. Okay, I'm not going to condemn them just because um, some of them may support the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I, I don't think that that's a good movement. I don't think it's positive for uh, either race. Uh, but using their words, not mine, there's only one race, the human race. But to use the words of everyone else, it's not doing the races any good. But I don't care. They're right about this. Listen, black leaders slammed President Obama's order that men who claim to be female must be allowed to shower with normal women and girls and also has claimed that federal support for transgenders and gender identity is just like the campaign to win equal civil rights for African Americans. Now, beyond what we've already talked about, the way that it uh, plays into a choice to dress a certain way and the non-choice of your skin tone, beyond that, do you really really want grown men in a dress going to the bathroom with your six or seven year old daughter 
even if the person in a dress does nothing inappropriate at all. This is going to create a very uncomfortable dinner conversation when the little girl gets out of the bathroom. This kind of thing needs to be taught. I'm, I'm not an idiot. But it doesn't need to be thrown in people's faces. Um, I have no problem with unisex bathrooms if they're marked as such, but we need men's rooms and we need women's rooms, okay? Um, if you're at some kind of crazy swinger party, then obviously, who cares? But we're talking about the mall, we're talking about Wendy's, we're talking about things like that. Um, the ridiculous transgender civil rights movement comparison is insulting and disrespectful, said Nadra Enzi correctly a New Orleans anti-crime activist. Once again, the black experience is hijacked by individuals who are contempt and desperation is obvious. Middle and upper income whites in search of artificial oppressed person status so that they can do without using our history to prop up their delusional defenses. You know what? I don't think she's the victim she claims she is. I'm sorry, it's not 1965 anymore, but epic win for her. Comparing gender dysmorphia to innate characteristics such as race is a bridge too far for scientific-minded individuals, but not for the organized left, said Stacey Washington, Emmy-nominated TV personality and talk show host for KFDK 97.1 in St. Louis. The idea that a mentally ill person would assume the mantle of a civil rights so hard fought and won by the black Americans is insulting. Now again, is she saying that all people who are of that persuasion are mentally ill. I don't think that's what she's saying here. This, we're going to hammer this into you. We are going to force you to do this and have men in the women's room and women have monthly visitors, to be polite. They don't want men, regardless of how the man feels, in the same bathroom. Get over it. It's just fact. And uh, I, I have no hatred to anybody who's of this persuasion. I have friends that are. I don't care. This, however, is way too far. You cannot force other people to accept what you do. You don't have to change for anybody, but you can't force everyone else to accept it. And there are people that want only their own sex in the bathroom, and they should be entitled to that. And again, if it's marked unisex, that's one thing. But again, you can't have unisex bathrooms everywhere either. Another problem is it's something to do, it doesn't have anything at all to do with transgender people. It has more to do with how you could open this up for abuse if you are a predator or a a pedophile or a filming pervert or a voyeur or whatever. Fecophiliac, that kind of thing. The kind of person that would go to a scat site. This could be a slippery slope, people. A report by NBC Washington. This is um, also from Breitbart. Guard faces assault charge for confronting transgender woman using the woman's restroom. This guy should be given the Medal of Honor. Uh, not really, you know what I mean, the key to the city. A report by NBC Washington says that a security guard at a giant grocery store in Washington, D.C. has been charged with simple assault after a transgender woman said he forced her out of the woman's restroom. She's 32, she went to pick up some uh, delivery, pick, and uh, she decided uh, to use the bathroom on her way out. The officer then demanded that she get out and said, uh, after following it into the bathroom, she opened the door and he came in and started calling me derogatory names. It's because you're being a pervert. This was when Belcher says the officer put his hand on the shoulder and grabbed her and pushed her out the store. She says the guard explained to her, you cannot keep coming, you guys cannot keep coming in here and using the woman's restroom. That did not pass the law yet. They did not pass the law yet, excuse me. Belcher called the police and reported the incident after leaving the store, and its authorities arrested the officer. Friends, this is a country that has gone over the deep end. Really. 
the, uh, mark my words. They they will not they will not finish crucifying this guy. If he gets a lawyer that's worth half a shake of salt, mark my words, he's gonna win this one. I'm gonna go to screen share. The, um, a lot of the people that have found my show have done so through nuclear issues, uh, particularly Fukushima and Chernobyl. Well, we have interesting nuke related news here regarding Iran. Now, I hope by all of by now all of you know one of my big things against Iran is that they, they, they are building a, a... Okay, the same people that predicted that there would be a massive earthquake and tsunami that was going to take out power plants more than one and were not listened to saw the earthquake happen that took out power plants in Fukushima. Those same voices are now saying that about Iran and the Bashir plant. And again, no one is listening. This has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with the New World Order. I'm not in favor of America poking its nose into everywhere. I think it's kind of twisted. But this isn't part of that. This is geology. This is the Earth. And you're not going to be able to do much about it. So anyway, Iran has gone off the crazy chart now and is flaunting how they are testing nuclear weaponry. I bring that up because you enrich the, radi the uh, uranium at a higher rate when you're doing it for nuclear weapons. So when the earthquake hits, it'll be even more pleasant for everyone. Freebeacon.com, Iran shows off underground missile site. Dreadful. Iran's military recently publicized a third underground missile facility that showed the launch of a new ballistic missile through the top of a mountain. U.S. intelligence agencies said in a recent internal report on the launch that the new underground missile facility was disclosed by Iran in March. Now, the problem with this is it shows that Iran does not have the kind of Islamic leaders that you can trust. It's pretty much what it says here. Um, they give you their word, and their word is worth nothing. If you don't, if you don't think Iran got a fair deal, I think they certainly did more than fair. But they didn't have to sign it. Okay, they agreed to something, and what they did is lied. They lied to America. They lied to the world. U.S. intelligence agencies. Uh, from, um, I read that. My bad. It was the third time uh, since October that Tehran showed off an extensive network of underground missile facilities. The new video, however, for the first time shows a missile launch from one of the country's underground launch facilities. I'm going to uh, scan ahead a bit here, but you can get the point. Um, now, this is a country that keeps its promises, right? This is a country that you can trust, that you want to send billions of dollars to. This is, this is it. This is Iran, okay, breaking their word, which is exactly what Trump said they were doing. Disclosure of the new video comes as Iran this week conducted the third launch of a ballistic missile since January, when the nuclear deal aimed at curbing Iran's nuclear weapons development went into effect. Two missiles were launched in March, including one shown in the video identified in Kim One, or Uprising One, great, that appears to be a smaller variant of Iran's Shahabab 3 missile. Friends, this is a nation that we're sending how much money to? Billions of dollars. So that they can, in our face, test nuclear weaponry. <sighs> Friends, it doesn't get any worse than that. Sky.com, Trump ready to meet with Kim Jong-un over nuke talks. At least he's going to try. I mean, I, I Reagan was able to do it with Russia. I don't think the people, the leaders of Russia at the time, though, were so far removed from reality as Kim Jong-un is 
However, what we're doing now isn't working. And talking to him, if nothing else, will delay anything stupid that he's going to do. Because most of the time, even if it's just to have his face on TV, which Kim Jong-un loves to do, usually countries do not attack while in the middle of talks. It's only when talks break down. So Trump might be able to skate through a year or two just by tying Kim Jong-un up in talks before he does anything stupid like another test. So, I mean, there could be a lot of logic in the way Trump is doing this because I don't know how much you can reason with a madman. You can try. But if nothing else, he can delay it, which would make him look brilliant if he was able to do that. Um, Donald Trump has said that he would be prepared to meet with Kim Jong-un as an unintelligent and speak to him about scaling back North Korea's nuclear ambitions. I would speak to him, I would have no problem speaking to him, he told the Reuters news agency. And asked whether he would try to talk some sense into the North Korean leader, Mr. Trump replied, absolutely. North Korea's mission to the United Nations did not immediately respond to a request for comment by Mr. Trump's remarks. Uh, Trump is 69. He also told the press on China Pyongyang's major diplomatic and economic supporter to help find a solution. And that can't be uh, overlooked here. Um, what you've got here is Donald Trump knowing that the head of this snake is China and that he would contact China regarding Pyongyang. Now, lately, Kim Jong-un has tried to do things and show that he is not beholden to China. But if China decides to tell him to jump, he's going to be leaping like a froggy. And I think that's another thing that Trump is going to try to do. Guys, I've only got uh, two stories left. I do want to let you know that they are brought to you by Sticker Junkie. Who is Sticker Junkie? They will make you stickers like you've never seen. Look at the site. Look behind me. Beautiful stickers. You got a, an anniversary. We got graduations coming out the wazoo. You're going to have stickers for your band shows this summer. All of that. Get it made at Sticker Junkie. And then on checkout, type in the correct views or correct views, and you're going to get even more of a discount because you're a listener to the show. How cool is that? Guys, a privacy concerns FBI director Comey trolled online for, ta for taping over a laptop cam. Basically, all the crazy people put tape over their video webcam because they believe that people can spy on them. Well, guess what? Those people were right. This is from RT. It turns out that the FBI director, James Comey, covers his laptop camera with tape, just like any NSA-fearing citizen should, and the admission has generated hilarity on social media. The FBI chief confessed to keeping his camera covered at Cunningham College in Ohio on a speech on encryption and privacy. Okay, it might be time to meet at IAPP, Webcam Privacy Shield. Uh, there, <laughs> these comments are hilarious. His reason didn't go over very well. He knows he's because he can. Uh, you carry a network location tracking mic camera. I'll simulate her everywhere you go. Be sure tape over it. Mic top on your lap. They, they're right that all choppy because Twitter doesn't let you type anything. Um, friends, that says it all. Okay, that right there says it all. That's where our Fourth Amendment's got. Our right not to be spied on. That's where that is. And that brings us to the dumdy of the day. Oh, my dumdy! I'm going to let the song play while I read it here. Activists! Some Alan Saddles on Prison Planet. Park Ranger uniforms threaten Latinos to similar to border control. In other words, you've got people that should not be in the country. In the country. Trying to hide from people that are going to send them back home where they're supposed to be. 
rather than encourage that to happen for the good of the country, because you can't, if you don't have borders, you don't have country. I'm not saying end legal immigration, but this is insane. You should change it to help the illegal immigrant not get caught or feel uncomfortable. Yeah, let's help them get away with it and be comfortable. Hispanics are threatened. I'm half part Hispanic, I'm not threatened by it, because I didn't sneak into anyone's country. You know what happens if you sneak into Mexico? We covered it on past shows. Your ass is over, that's what happens. And no, I'm not in favor of all that. Hispanics are threatened by the color of the National Park Ranger attire, which bears resemblance to uniforms worn by U.S. Border Patrol agents who are supposed to send you out of the country, as they do. A coalition of, a coalition of uh, Latino activists and civil rights groups argued last week. Asking President Obama for an executive order to address the priorities of a more inclusive approach to conservation of our public land, the Hispanic Access Foundation Thursday recommended re-examining the culture or implications of existing agency uniforms. Basically saying you don't want the illegal immigrant to be uncomfortable visiting the parks in the country that he snuck in to. Idiot! Friends, you're listening to The Correct View. Sam I.B. DeGangi signing off. Do me a favor. Um, check out Change Transportation. Don't call Uber. If you call Uber, make sure you find out how much it's going to be. Then call Change Transportation. They will price match it and you'll get a better deal. How's that? Um, let them know you heard about the correct views, and you'll get more of a discount on your fare than you already had, which was cheaper to start than to start with. And if you want to donate to me, I would appreciate it. You could do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Guys, I have worked nonstop on this show, on the primaries. I have done shows on weekends. You know what? I'm going to rock on the range to see Megadeth. I need to relax. Good night, friends. God bless.